Let's now get more on Kenya's anniversary celebrations here. I'm joined by Osano Kute, a political analyst. Well, Mr. Kute, thank you very much for joining us here on Africa Live. First, is there anything to celebrate for Kenya 50 years after independence? Well, one would actually say uh, that, uh, <clears throat> yes, there's something that uh, Kenyans can celebrate after 50 years uh, of independence. And uh, there are also certain things that uh, one would say that, uh, you know, we would have done much better than what we have done in the last 50 years. What would be the great strides that Kenya has made in the last 50 years? Well, compared to the countries around uh, in East and Central Africa, Kenya is uh, one of the countries that uh, one would say there's a lot of political freedom and uh, there's so much space, which, uh, you know, compared to what has really been going on uh, or what, what was going on in the last, say, 15 or 20 years ago. So Kenyans, you know, as a people are... Uh, um, I would say, you know, very free and uh, quite a happy lot in terms of, uh, you know, uh, the political freedom that exists in the country. Well, Kenya is a dominant economy, though, in the East African region. Its economic projections are looking quite good for the coming years and for the past uh, several couple, number of years, though. Would you say, though, that the economic um, uh, assessment of Kenya, is that trickling down to the uh, common man? Well, I think um, what has actually happened is that uh, the political leadership of Kenya in the last, say, 20 or so years has uh, really uh, made Kenya so liberal to the, um, you know, the effect that, uh, you know, the common person is really not gaining a lot in terms of, uh, the, you know, whatever is coming out, uh, you know, from the economic development. There are quite a number of people who are coming from out of the country and uh, are enjoying a lot of freedom. They would actually get cheap money from outside, for example, and invest in things like real estate and uh, you know uh, take this, com this, this money out of the country at the expense of the common you know man um, you know having said that uh, I do believe that if the uh, political leadership was to come out and really become very strong and uh, control all this then we would actually be having the trickle down effect of uh, economic uh, growth that we're projecting. Where do you think though that Kenya should be concentrating in the coming years after you know the first 50? Well, I think what they need to be, what Kenya should be concentrating on is uh, majorly in uh, the infrastructural development and also the exploitation of the natural resources, the minerals that have uh, been uh, discovered of late. And uh, also to try and come up with policies that will make sure that people don't fight over the same, you know, natural resources, um, you know, compared to, you know, what is going on in places like Nigeria and other countries where people are fighting because the common person is really not gaining from what you know has been discovered in a, as a natural resources. Well, Kenya is expecting about uh, 50 heads of state and government and their representatives for the celebrations. That's quite a large gathering. Yes, it's actually quite a large gathering, although not as uh, large as what uh, Nelson Mandela you know pulled out uh, you know uh, um, a day or so ago. But uh, it's, a, it's a large gathering, and um, um, if you look at Kenya compared to other countries in Africa then uh, quite a number of uh, heads of states would really be, you know, want to come in and, uh, you know, uh, celebrate with Kenyans because uh, Kenya as a country has really moved, you know, forward in uh, economic and political development. All right. Uh, it, it just briefly, though, what would you say, if you, if you were asked there, what would you say would be Kenya's single best achievement over the last 50 years? Well, um, as I said before, um, the political space that we have is actually admirable, you know, compared to other countries uh, within Africa. That is one single achievement that we have made, and that actually happened in the last, uh, say, 10 or 15 years, particularly d during the uh, reign of uh, President uh, Moe Kibaki. I hope we're going to really have that. The other one is actually infrastructural development, which was started during the same period, and I do believe that, uh, you know, Kenya is going to move forward in... Uh, um, you know, forging ahead with uh, the infrastructural development. All right, uh, Mr. Osanu Kuti, we'll leave it there for the moment, but thank you very much for joining us here on uh, Africa Live.